I bought a skirt. Hi, it's Nisha. If you've been here before, you know that I didn't own even one skirt in my wardrobe until now. I always love seeing other people wearing skirts just for me. I felt, always felt, that skirts don't suit me because of uh, my figure. I'm sort of hourglass, I've got big hips, much smaller in a waist, and I always felt that skirts made me look a bit frumpy. But I thought, no, go and find a skirt that you like and that it doesn't make you look too frumpy. And I think I found one, but obviously at the end of that video, I want your opinion. So I bought this skirt. I really like the look of it. This is pleated, high-waisted, midi, maxi, depends how tall you are. I am five foot five, so I'm average, I suppose. The thing is, you if you wear it high-waisted, it's a bit more midi. If you put it a bit lower on your hips, you can have maxi. But it is supposed to be high-waisted skirt. I got it in medium and it fits me perfectly being high-waisted. If I just want to lower it an inch down, I can't do it without undoing the zip uh, because of my hips. So, um, and then I noticed they said on, on the website that this skirt comes up a bit small, so go up a size. But when I went back, the bigger size was gone. But this is fine for me, high-waisted. And even if I wanted to wear it a bit lower, I can undo the zip slightly. And if I have a top that covers um, this bit, you can still wear it. And it came with the belt. Did I say that? Yeah, it came with this belt. It's got a gorgeous print. It is not satin. To me, this is more polyester, obviously, but it's more like a um, Georgette type. Very, very lovely, very flowing. It's slightly, slightly see-through. I suppose if you wore black underwear, you could see it, but if you wear new, nude underwear, it's absolutely fine. They had matching shirt as well, which I bought, but I didn't like the look together. With that shirt, it looked like a dress, but like a frumpy dress, because it was long sleeve, quite baggy, and the shirt, obviously in the same fabric, but it was much more see-through. I've sent the shirt back. So, I thought to myself, I'm going to get this skirt and see how many outfits I can get out of it and what will look good. And to my surprise, I got so many outfits out of it. And even though I still think it make, this skirt makes me a bit bigger than I am, I like it and um, I'm glad to have it in my wardrobe and I think now I will maybe pay a bit more attention to skirts. I used to wear skirts, obviously, but mini skirts in my 20s. Um, so um, they were never that type of skirt. Okay, so maybe we will start, let me put this away. Let's start with sort of wintery outfits because it's still really cold here. So for the first autumn winter outfit, I've put this skirt on with a black jumper uh, with really nice embellishment on, on the shoulders. I think I got that one from phase eight. I don't know, but all the clothes that I'm wearing with the skirt are um, things that I've already had in my wardrobe. So nothing here is new. And with my lovely long black leather boots. So I really, really loved that outfit. I thought it was really gorgeous, elegant, uh, still comfortable. And if it was colder, you can always put long coat over it or a leather jacket. I think this outfit would look really nice also with black ankle boots, even more of a chunky, biker style boot if the jumper was maybe a bit more chunky and oversized. For the na next wintry um, outfit, I chose this fluffy off-white uh, jumper. Don't know where I got it, somewhere online. I think this one was from Villa. Um, and I put it on with my chunky ankle boots the cream ones. You've seen them before. These are quite old. I think I got them 
three years ago from River Island and I was surprised that that was a really cute outfit as well. So I really like those two. So you can wear those skirts in the winter, no problem. Obviously, if you were going out, you can just put a long coat on or leather jacket and you've got a ready outfit. Then I tried to style it in more elegant way, something that you could again wear to the office or, or a restaurant. So in this outfit, I put on this silky camisole this one is from Marks and Spencers. You can get those silky camisoles everywhere. It's not silk, it's satin. And with that, I put on off-white shoes, which are from Zara as well, and a longish colorless blazer, which was from H&M. Again, H&M is amazing for blazers, inexpensive blazers, so uh, have a look at that. So I thought that was a really, really lovely outfit as well. Carrying on with that high heels, well, the cream ones are not that high. Uh, they are quite a small heel, but that makes it elegant, but still much more comfortable. So then I swapped the cream jacket for a black blazer, which was from Zara as well, and my very, very old high heel shoes, black shoes and I thought that looked really lovely as well. So I chose that color and that pattern of that skirt is because I quite like neutral outfits, as you know, and this will go with white, creams, beiges, blacks. So I already have a lot of um, colors like this in my wardrobe, so I can get out a lot out of that one skirt. The next outfit is sort of in between. It's very comfortable, very cash but still looks quite elegant so i've put with that outfit very old again little ballerina shoes and then i added like a thin summery cardigan and just a tank top and i thought that was a really really comfortable i would go out shopping in something like this shopping and lunch you know i still look nice put together but very comfortable and the next outfits will be more casual. So this outfit is a bit more summery. I put this skirt together with a white tank top. I still kept the black belt and just put black flip-flops on. So everything that you see is what I've already had in my wardrobe. I didn't have to buy anything extra to go with that skirt. And as you can see, you can also grab say you're going out for the day and it might get a bit chilly in the evening then you can take some sort of knitwear have it slung over your shoulders and then you can always put that on you can wear those skirts as well with tennis shoes with your trainers the next casual summery outfit i just wore a simple white t-shirt i think i kept the belt off and the Veya trainers. And this is very comfortable, casual, quite modern look. And in the last outfit, I still kept the Veya trainers, but I popped on poplin white shirt, which I tied at the waist. Again, it gives that modern, funky look, still quite nice, but comfortable. But I could have worn with that shirt and the skirt, flip-flops, ballerina shoes, any shoes really. So these were all the outfits that I've managed to think of. I'm sure I could make many more, but it wouldn't be that different. You'll be just swapping tops and shoes. But all in all, I am really, really happy with that skirt. And like I said, I was surprised how many great outfits I can get out of it. So I will be definitely paying more attention to skirts now. So let me know what do you think of this skirt? More importantly, what do you think of me in this skirt? Was I wrong to think this skirt don't suit me or do I look okay? So these were the eight outfits. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.